The truth was, Lenin was just a gnat more ruthless than people thought. Comrade Lenin, yes. why do we bother with the Commissariat of Justice? Well, let let's tell. call it the Commissariat for well, Social yes. Extermination. Let, 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 be let, done let with it. Speak. I mean, that's exactly what uh, it should be. It that's right. Be. That's so, right. It's social extermination. But that's what it we does. We can't call it that, can well, we? Why not? As the body of Lenin arrived in Red Square, the myth machine moved into full gear. Oh, why, Mr. Gates, throw that coffin on fire and freezing. Right. Oh, cremation for Comrade Lenin? Well, that's what he would have wanted, to be treated the same way as his people in death. Oh, no, I don't like that idea. Give us another one. Well, how about embalming it? Oh, stuff that. Exactly. Listen, it's all the rage. Have you seen that Tutankhamun exhibition? Tutankhamun? No, Tutankhamun. You know, ancient Egypt. The Tutankhamun exhibition had recently travelled the world and been a huge hit. The Russian leadership, who through Lenin had pioneered public relations, suddenly latched on to the new fad. Tuchen Kamun, patent embalming technique, stay popular forever. And so it was that Lenin's body was embalmed and laid in state. What do you think, Stalin? He's going pretty well so far. I thought he was good when he was alive, but it is magnificent. Embalmed for three weeks and already two million people have seen him. Not even pushing up daisies yet, and the Lenin legend was reborn. It was the biggest show in town, a massive sellout attraction. Mm. Yeah, it's good, but I prefer the bouncy castle. This cash in was totally against the wishes of Lenin's widow, Krupkaya, otherwise known as Fish Eyes. Do not build memorials to Comrade Lenin, nor palaces named after him, nor magnificent celebrations in his memory. Remember how much poverty and disorder we still have in our country. If you want to honor the name of Lenin, build daycare centers, kindergartens, homes, schools, and most importantly, try in all things to fulfill his legacy. Right, what should we build in his name? A building. What about a street? No, no, no. A big city. We'd across Channel Ferry. Five days after his death and three days after Krupkaya's plea, Russia's second city, Petrograd, was renamed Leningrad in Lenin's honor, and it didn't stop there. What have you called your child? Ninel. Ninel? Uh, Lenin backwards. Scallops. As a tribute, hundreds of families named their baby daughters Lenin backwards. Ninel, as you do. The myth machine had gone nuts. Merchandising was big rubles. Oh, I'm allowed a Lenin cigarettes over here. They still got a rush order on the Lenin dolls. Yeah, got the Lenin Lenin. The Lenin curio trade was getting so out of hand that on the 24th of April 1924, the Central Executive Committee passed a decree prohibiting the manufacture or exhibition of posters, paintings, drawings or busts of Lenin unless permission has been given for them by one of the Immortalization Commission subcommittees. The final straw had been the move by a Russian sausage factory to name their top banger The Lenin. Thanks to massive marketing, within weeks of him popping his clogs, Lenin mania was huge. Where's the postcard store? All men are born equal, but in death it seemed there was just a jot of inequality. The campaign has gone very well. It's never been so popular. I mean, uh, everything that is possible has been published about him. We were going to publish his last testament, uh, but we're not sure now that's a good idea. <laughs> I agree. Worst thing he ever wrote. Rubbish. On the 23rd of December, just a few weeks before he died, Sauerpuss Lenin had started work on his testament. Dictated because he was too ill to write, he systematically rubbished each of his possible successors. Comrade Stalin, I'm not sure whether he will be capable of using authority with sufficient caution. And it didn't stop there. Comrade Trotsky, on the other hand, is distinguished by outstanding ability. But he has shown excessive preoccupation with the purely administrative side of his work. Bukharin can only be classified as fully Marxist with great reserve. As for Kyatakov, he shows too much zeal for administering to be relied upon in a serious political matter. And that was just for starters. Lenin really let rip in the postscript added on the 4th of January. So what you're saying, Lenin, yes. is that you don't like Stalin. Is that right? Yes, he's too rude, and this is intolerable what, uh, in Secretary General. What, what, what do you want to do? You want to remove him from his post and put someone else in when you're dead? Is that fair? Uh, is that right? Is that good? Well, I mean, there must be someone else, even here, who is better to rule the well, country. How about me? <laughs> yes, yes, even, uh, even you could do a job better than, uh, better than Stalin, and you're a chauffeur. <laughs> Uh, what have you got to show for it? <laughs> News of the existence of Lenin's testament 
only revealed after his death, went down like a chocolate fire guard with the party leaders. Hey, Joseph, you should read this bit here. He wants someone more considered than you. He really did hate you, didn't he? If he was alive today, I would kill him for it. Well, what do we do with this testament? <laughs> well, we can't publish it, that's for sure. Well, so what do we do? Another statue? Oh, yes. Oh, and uh, more toys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Books, lots of books. Books, books. Yes. glorious. Ah. Yes, more books in his glorious life, the bastard. <laughs> Hey, the new commemorative teapots have come in. Oh, that's great, because I got the mugs last month. Hey, is this a coupon and any toilet roll, Albert? Yeah, right along there, mate. Cheers. Oh, I thought I was getting a Lenin pop-up poster. Oh, these are pop-up posters. Right, hands up, anyone who wants a Lenin on a stick. Hands up, come on. Hey, hey. Uh, James, what about... I'm never going to reach out there. You'll have to chuck your money down. The testament lay unpublished for over 40 years and wasn't revealed till after Stalin's death but it did little to dampen Lenin fever. Um, I got this thing Lenin wrote uh, some time ago. He um, thought Stalin was unfit to rule the country, then like uh, Trotsky or Bukharin or any of the heroes of the revolution. Still, never mind. So why, when it was common knowledge within party circles that Lenin mistrusted all the party leaders, did they continue to elevate him to this godlike position for over 40 years? They were quite aware that he thought they weren't up to the job, being just a bunch of loafers and wasters. So what was going on? Mm, um, well, I uh, cannot uh, comment because I died in the 1940s. Sorry. I agree with Comrade uh, Trotsky and I too have nothing to say. <laughs> the truth was they needed the death of Lenin to reinforce their own position and established there really had been a revolution, to give the revolution a public face that no one could argue with, particularly if the main man was dead. Listen, no one argues with a dead man, especially when you can control what he's supposed to have said. He's not going to deny anything. Hey, we need a slogan. Never mind better red than dead. What about better red and dead? Better red and dead! Better red and dead! Having got rid of the Tsar, Making a myth out of Lenin was the only way they could actually claim that the revolution had happened. The death of Lenin became the revolution. The Tsar had gone, but nothing had changed. There were still food shortages. There was still terror. There was still no land ownership. There was still oppression. The workforce had been decimated by the war, and those that remained were still controlled by the old inefficient Tsarist bureaucracy. Basically, for the ordinary Russian peasant who made up most of the population, it was the same plot, the same story, the same stars. But taking a none too pleasant, ruthless, pseudo-intellectual dead boot boy and brick him up in a wall meant they could pretend that something new had occurred. There must have been a revolution. How do you mean? Well, look over there, at the Lenin's tomb. There is the evidence. What the... Well, joking apart, you can get this comic booklet by sending a check or postal order for £2.50, payable to Channel 4, to Almost Complete History, PO Box 4000.